Today, it's homemade radio flyer action. First, I cut a piece of one by one angled steel that's going to span the width of the wagon. And then I cut two pieces of one by one steel tubing that's going to go in the ends and support it so I can drill through to attach the spindle housings. After I get those welded on, I have to cut off a few pieces where the actual spindles are going to be drilled into. Before I can attach the spindle housings, I need to cut two more pieces of steel that I can weld onto the spindle housing and then drill through all of the pieces and attach them with a bolt. Although I'm not building precision equipment here, I try to align everything as carefully as I can before I weld it up because it's going to make the final assembly just that much better. Before I get too carried away, it's always a good idea to do a quick test assembly just to make sure that there's no clearance issues and to make sure everything's going to operate the way you want it to when it's all said and done. After the spindle housing is tapped, I'm able to insert the actual spindle, which is made out of 5 8 11 all thread. The rear assembly is just two pieces of all thread that welded onto the angle profile. There's no moving part, so it doesn't have to be overly complicated. Although at the time it felt like it was kind of complicated when I was cutting everything and putting it together, it's obviously really simple the way it goes together. So obviously we have our frame rail here. We have our spindle housing that attaches at this pivot point. The spindle itself is 5 8 11 all thread. And so I just threaded this and screwed it in. And then there's a control arm that attaches to the steering linkage. So when you move that, the whole thing steers. I am actually really happy with how this turned out. I've seen radio flyers where they just have, the wheels are actually fixed and then the whole thing pivots. And I mean, although it would have been a whole lot faster to do it that way, I just, I didn't want to make that compromise. And since I was building this, I was taking the time to get the tires that I like and build it the way I want it. I wanted to have the steering the way I wanted it also. And it didn't have to be that complicated. It didn't cost any more really, I mean, I was getting the same amount of metal virtually. You, you can only buy it in certain lengths, so this is what I ended up with. But I think my all-in costs are gonna be about $55. And to get a radio flyer with the pneumatic tires, it's gonna cost you more than that. And like I said, this one's gonna be customized a little bit, so it's gonna be the way I want it. And I think I'm gonna get a lot more uh, joy out of using it because it's the one that I want. Probably gonna replace the handle though. I don't like that.